Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. So I'm quite excited today because I am upgrading my LED lighting setup over here on my desk with a flicker-free LED lighting solution. So Orient Electric has come out with these I Love series LED tubes and supposedly these ones have flicker control technology that means this one has a constant current driver. Also I quickly want to point out that Orient Electric has not sponsored this video so I bought four of these LED tubes with my own money and if you want to purchase these links are down in the video description. Now you don't see this flickering effect with your eyes because the LEDs inside the tube are switching on and off at an extremely high rate and your eyes sort of see it as a constant light. But if you use a phone, turn on the camera and switch it to super slow motion or slow motion, you will see this flickering effect quite clearly. So yes, these LED tubes do have a crazy flicker effect. And this flickering is actually not good for the eyes, it can cause your eye strains, headache, nausea, all sorts of weird stuff. And I'm myself quite sensitive to flickering effect, that's why I have a separate LED strip installed at my home. And this is in fact flicker free. And this is because I could not find a flicker free LED lighting solution in the market. Almost every LED tube and bulb has that flickering effect. So I'm kind of curious about this Orient Electric LED tube. Hopefully it will solve my problems. Also, apart from the negative health implications, this flickering effect is not good for filming. So I currently film my videos at 25 frames per second, that's why you don't see it much in my videos, but watch what happens when I increase the shutter speed. Can you see that horizontal band of black line? Um, see that? That is caused due to this flickering effect. So what's happening here is the camera shutter speed is high and it's picking up that flicker. So yeah, this is one reason I cannot film my videos at a higher frame rate. I sometimes want to film videos at 60 FPS, but whenever I do switch to 60 FPS, I get these horizontal band of black lines. So yeah, this is because of that flickering effect and after installing these, I hope this problem will be solved. So to light my desk up, I currently use these Philips 18 watt LED tubes and these ones are 6500 Kelvin, so cool daylight. So three of them are already installed over there. I took one out to show you guys. And these are fairly decent quality. I bought these in 2016, still working fine, no problem. But unfortunately, these ones have that PWM flicker, so these ones have to go. So these new Orient I Love tubes are rated at 20 watts and the color is 6500 Kelvin. So cool daylight. Let me just flip this over so you guys can see the packaging. So it says, Good for eye health, saves you energy, uniform light distribution, eco-friendly, no mercury. Obviously because this is an LED tube. And manufacturing information. These ones are made in India by the way. And let's check out the other side. So it's the same thing. So let's take these out of the box and see what we get inside. Alright, so I've taken the tube out of its packaging and the length of the tube is 119 centimeters might come in handy when you're getting this thing installed so let's take a look at this product information over here yeah kind of difficult to see this on video but i'll go through this quickly so 20 watts 220 to 240 volts 50 hertz power factor of 0.9 6500 kelvin cool daylight 20,000 lumens 90 milliamps and it says 50 degrees celsius model number led 20 wbt ff made in india and this is the other side it says orient electric and i love and this is how it looks from the side and in the middle over here you have the wire coming out and that will go into your mains connection and the led tube itself is quite lightweight there's almost no weight to it and you also get mounting hardware i'm not going to use this mounting hardware because i'm just going to mount the tube with double-sided sticky tape so yeah, this is not going to be used, so unfortunately I'll not be able to show you how to mount this on the wall. Okay, so I've got the new tube powered up, and like I've said before, this is the 6500 Kelvin color, which is cool daylight. Now unfortunately, I could not find warm white color in this Orient I Love series tubes, and to be very honest, for general purpose lighting, I would never recommend installing a 6500 Kelvin LED tube or a bulb. I would always go for this warm white or golden yellow color. So all the lighting fixtures at our home including LED tubes and bulbs are all warm white or golden yellow. But for video recording purposes I do prefer having cool daylight color because it does not mess up the camera's white balance. So yeah this is a request to Orient. Please bring out golden yellow or warm white color in this Orient I love flicker free LED tubes. It would be very nice and I would definitely purchase those. Okay so the LED tube has been running for about one hour now and I want to see the temperature of the driver. 
So the driver is located somewhere over here and it's quite hot to the touch. So I've got my infrared thermometer, let's measure the temperature. So the maximum temperature I'm able to measure is 72.3 degrees Celsius, just somewhere over here. But I would not worry about it because the LED driver is actually made to run at those temperatures. And the LED tube itself is at around 35 degrees Celsius. And the room temperature right now is 24.9, so 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, I got the tube mounted on top and let's fire up the camera. Super slow motion. And you can see there is no more flickering effect. And if I switch to slow-mo, again, no flickering effect. And I can film my videos at a higher frame rate. So turn on the old tube and take a look at this. Look at the flickering effect on the old tube. So yeah, filming super slow motion videos or even filming videos at a, at a slightly higher frame rate is impossible with this lighting. So for my last experiment, I've got the camera's shutter speed set to 120 and you guys can see those black horizontal lines and I've got the old LED tube turned on right now. So I'm gonna turn off the old one and turn on the new Orient I love and you guys will see these horizontal black lines will disappear. These lines are because of that PWM flickering effect. So let's go. So turn this off first. And this is the new Orient I love and you guys can see those black lines have disappeared. So this is why guys, whenever you are buying an LED light for filming, always go for LED lights that do not have that PWM flicker. Coming to brightness, the tube is plenty bright. It's rated at 20 watts and 20,000 lumens. And it lights my medium sized room up, no problems. However, if you do plan to study or read a book, you might want to install a second tube so that it reduces strain on your eyes. One of the most important parameters of an LED light is its CRI level or color rendering index. Orient Eye Love tubes are rated at a CRI level of greater than 80, which is the norm these days for consumer LED lighting. If the CRI level is high, you will get natural and vivid colors, but a poor CRI level which is often found in cheap LED bulbs and tubes will give you dull and washed out colors. And here's a quick comparison of the color reproduction between the old Philips LED light versus the new Orient I Love tubes. Philips is on the left and I Love is on the right. The old Philips tube also has a CRI level of greater than 80. And I don't see any difference between these two, so that's great. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit that like button and do follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. All the links are down in the video description. So thank you for watching, do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.